Hey guys, Raging Fury 555 here, and today I'll be showing you guys what card to pick when you're looking in a draft challenge. Um, I did get a 5 win, an 8 win, and a 12 win. Um, what happened is when you play right when a draft challenge starts, you get way harder matches. So um, you want to play a draft challenge maybe like 12 hours after it comes out, so you get easier matches. So um, we're gonna go into a couple battles, and I'll show you what to pick when you're looking for a battle and a draft challenge. So uh, first, we're gonna go to, uh, I have quite a few replays here. We'll go to my final win right here. Okay, so right here, you have Princess and you have Lava Hound. And you always want a win condition and Lava Hound is a very good win condition. It is in the meta right now. So you wanna pick Lava Hound here. Um, Princess is a legendary, but it can be countered by arrows and fireball and rocket and a lot of other card So you want to go with Lava Hound right here right here. I picked Lava Hound right here I picked three musketeers and you might be like Why did you pick it? It costs a lot of elixir now I have a seven elixir and a nine elixir and why I picked it was It's really hard to counter three musketeers, especially in a, a draft challenge. And it takes away a win condition from my enemy. So now I have two win conditions and Lava Hound and my musketeers can do a lot of work against him. And now I can pick between heal or Inferno Dragon. And right here, I did pick Inferno Dragon because Inferno Dragon is really powerful in um, draft challenges because usually they won't have like a zap spell and Zap usually counters Inferno Dragon, but remember, they'll probably not have it, so Inferno Dragon becomes much more stronger, which is why I picked Inferno Dragon. And plus, Heal is a new card, so they'll probably don't know how to use Heal properly, so Inferno Dragon is the way to go right here. Now we got a choice between Ice Wizard and Zap, and you might be leaning toward ice wizard because um it is it helps your um lava hound on the offensive but you want your inferno dragon to be able to take out tanks without having any trouble so you want to take zap so he can't counter you so now if you have zap he can't reset your inferno dragon which makes you have a really strong win condition so yeah We have Ice Wizard and Elixir Pump. And a lot of people don't like Pump. It takes a lot of time to get value out of it. But right here, you do wanna take Pump because you can defend while having a Pump in on the board. And what happens is during double Elixir time, you can get a really strong push if you have two pumps down and it can really topple your enemy over not knowing what to do. So here you wanna pick Pump here. I have a choice between Ice Golem and Skeleton Army. The reason I picked Skeleton Army here is Skeleton Army is more versatile. It can be used in many situations. It can counter Hog Rider, Elite Barbarians, you know, Giant Golem. It can counter a lot of cards. And um, Ice Golem, it is a good tank, but you can't use it as versatile. I mean, you can kite troops, but you know, it's a little bit more advanced and you need more skill, you know, more predictability, and if you mess up, it can really hurt your chances. So right here, I would just stick with Skeleton Army. Now we have Executioner or Princess, and you wanna take Executioner here. You really wanna take it, and even your Executioner can counter Skeleton Army, and Princess can counter Skeleton Army, but Executioner is a really good win condition. So right here, you wanna pick Executioner, and yeah, and you know, Executioner can take out Minion Horde really quickly, one swipe. And now we have a choice between Lightning and Log. And we have a really hard choice here because Lightning can counter my Executioner, but Log can also counter my Skeleton Army. So right here, you wanna pick Log. And why I'm saying Log right here is um, Log can take out his Princess. So, you know, good counter to him. 
but you know lightning even it can take out your executioner but um, you can always use a lightning rod so your executioner does not get taken out and log is more versatile um, you can take out his princess you know and yeah still a very hard choice if you really like lightning you could take lightning here but um yeah and remember if you're a really new player and you don't really know what to pick when you're playing um what i suggest is take what you're good at and for example if you're in arena 8 and you don't know how to use uh executioner you might not want to take it because you don't have any experience so yeah and now last but not least i'll be talking about a few card choices you would never want to give to your enemy so okay we're gonna go it's about four i'm pretty sure so you never want to give your opponent sparky um electro whiz and graveyard and uh one more card golem okay and sometimes Royal Giant too. Royal Giant's a pain in the ass. But reason why you don't want to give your opponent Graveyard or Electro Wiz is they're such good card choices. It would really help your enemy so much you'll probably lose the match. Even if you don't know how to use the card, I would still suggest to take it because if you give it to the hand of, of your enemy, you're going to just make him really strong. It's going to be really hard to beat him. So for example, if you give him graveyard and he has a giant it's basically game over he has a really strong meta win condition and you might be asking why do i want sparky um sparky is a tin can but and sparky isn't good in ladder and challenges but why it is good here is your opponent won't have a zap or a lightning almost for sure so Sparky becomes a really strong card and it can take a whole chunks of troops Which is why you really want to pick Sparky here But yeah, basically it if you want any more help I can always help you in the comments um, But yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below subscribe for more content and until next time I will see you guys later. Peace out